Network Troubleshooter. Step 1. Press the Windows key, type Control and hit Enter to open Control Panel. Step 2. Select Troubleshooting, then choose Network and Internet. Step 3. Click Internet Connection and pick Next to start running the troubleshooter. Step 4. Assuming that the troubleshooter manages to identify the root cause, click Apply this fix and let Windows handle the rest. Step 5. Lastly, close everything. Go to Network Connection Status and determine whether the issue persists. Update Drivers. Step 1. Press Windows WoR to open Run. Step 2. Type devmkimt msc, then hit enter to open Devis Manager. Step 3. Expand network adapters and right-click on your device driver. Step 4. Select properties, then go to the driver tab. Step 5. Click Update. Driver, then follow the on-screen instructions to update your driver. Step 6. Restart your computer, then connect your computer to the Internet. Note, if you are not sure which network adapter to update, you will have to right-click each of the drivers, pick Uninstall Devices, and restart your PC. Windows will reinstall the necessary network adapters when the screen comes back on. Think about DNS and IP address. Step 1. Press Windows plus R to open Run. Step 2. Type Control and hit Enter to open Control Panel. Step 3. Select Network and Internet then choose Network Connections. Step 4. Open your type of connection, e.g., Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and hit Properties. Step 5. Click Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IPv4, then pick Properties. Step 6. Choose both. Obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically, then select OK to save changes. Step 7. Hit OK to close the properties window, then let your PC automatically obtain the addresses. Alternatively, Step 1. Press Windows plus R to open Run. Step 2. Type CMD then hit Enter to open Command Prompt. Step 3. Give up the current address by typing the following command, ipconfig, release, then press Enter. Step 4. Renew the address by typing the following command, IP config, renew, then press enter. Step 5. Once done, type exit, then hit enter to close command prompt. At that point, you only need to restart your computer and check up on your network connection status. Reset WinSock. Step 1. Press Windows UX to open Quick Link menu. Step 2. Hit command prompt, admin, to open command prompt with administrative privileges. Step 3. Reset WinSock entries, IPv4 TCP IP and IPv6 TCP IP stack to their defaults by typing the following commands. Netch WinSock reset catalog. Netch int IPv4 reset reset.log. Netch int IPv6 reset reset.log. Step 4. Restart your computer. Take HT mode into account. Step 1. Press the Windows key, plus R to open Run. Step 2. Type ncpa.cpl, then hit Enter to open the network connections window. Step 3. Right-click on your connection, then select Properties. Step 4. Click Configure, 
and on the next window, go to the Advanced tab. Step 5. Select HT mode, then click OK to save changes. Step 6. Close all open windows, restart your computer, then check your network connection status.